Welcome back to my cigar exploration channel. I've got uh, some budget cigars to review with you today. Uh, I've got the Dutch Dutch Masters. These are the two for $1.29. Uh, this one is a sweet pack. This one is the same thing, but this is just their standard. Uh, no sweetness added, it says. So, and I figured, what the heck? Uh, let's go ahead and review both of these sticks at the same time tonight. Uh, see what the difference is between the two of them. Again, with the budget friendly, um, let's check them out. So I'm gonna get these guys opened up. I'll show you this one as I open it here. So, let's see it has a pull tab on it. Tear the top of it. Okay. Just pop this thing open here. It's got a little resealable package. So let's go ahead and go with the less sweet one to start. That makes sense, right? Check this thing out. So here's what we got. Pop these guys out of here. Also have a bourbon pairing, or as I should be saying, a whiskey pairing. Okay, so they come out, they're already uh, ready to roll here. Um, I am not 100% sure which end is the one you should light. This end seems to have a little bit of damage on it. This end is nice, but looks like this is the end you should light. Let's check out the other stick in here. Again, with these budget sticks, you know. Okay, so now this one's the opposite. This one, the end that looks like you should light, it's kind of busted up. And this end is a little better. So, we'll smoke this one. I figured, what the heck, you know, try them both. See which one we like better. See the differences between them. This, uh, this one is the Dutch blend, uh, the silver blend. Mm, I'm getting something on that cold draw. Almost like a, believe it or not, like a, like a rum kind of a flavor. These are uh, supposedly made in Dominican Republic. Okay, so pretty standard. Um, has slight sweetness to it. Definitely more sweetness than some of these bigger, more expensive cigars I've been smoking recently. So going with these budget cigars doesn't get it much more budget than this. Uh, $1.29 uh, for two sticks. I mean, that, that's an everyday smoker for just about everybody. So I thought we'll go with some budget bourbon as well. So we go with the 1783 Evan Williams Small Batch. Uh, this bourbon is 90 proof. Um, about 20 bucks at, at just about everybody's liquor store. Um, here in Pennsylvania, it's $20. Very affordable. All right, so it's burning good too, no problems. Like I said, this other one, um, it's a little more busted up. This is supposed to be the mouth end on the other one. And it's a little, a little rough, but I could always cut it maybe with my cigar cutter. I might mess it up worse. All right, let's try the bourbon with this. I mentioned this before, probably in every other video. Cigars and bourbon together. Cigars and whiskey. It just doesn't get any better. Budget cigar, cheap bourbon, cheaper bourbon, doesn't matter. It's like yin and yang together. All right. All right, let's put that stick down for a minute. All right, so these are the other ones as I showed you before. They are the Sweet Fusion, Red, Sweet Red Fusion. Okay, get one of these out of here. Hopefully these guys are in a little bit better shape. Uh, if they really are hand rolled, which I think these are made in a machine, if I had to guess. Oh wow, these look, these look so different from each other. These two sticks came out of that same bag. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to get used to, look at this. This guy looks way different. It's got some damage on the wrapper there, you know, but again, these are not an elegance thing. You're not gonna, you're not gonna light one of these up, 
to impress somebody. Um, this is going to be your your everyday. There's a gnat that likes my bourbon a lot, so I'm just going to put that over here. Wow. Okay. Much sweeter. Already getting a better flavor in the cold draw. Let's see what we get when we actually fire this thing up. Ooh, wow, a lot more wood. And, and not not kidding around either, cedar, like woody wood. Ooh, wow, I really like this one a lot. It's got really good flavor. Sweet, not too sweet though. Wow, I really like that cedar. It's got this cedary kind of a... Now that I lit it, I can smell it on the unlit one. I didn't pick it up until I lit it, but now I can smell it on the, ooh, I'm gonna go back to those. That's definitely gonna be a, a budget cigar that I go back to. Those, the Dutch, by Dutch Master Sweet Fusion Red. Now, these guys have quite a few uh, varieties of these two, and at some point I'm hoping to try more than just these two, but I thought it'd be such a good comparison tonight to, to try them against each other, basically. Um, being that one is unflavored, you know, and the other one is actually flavored. So this was a great comparison. It turns out, as much as I like big, nasty, and nasty in a good way, leathery, dirt, peppery cigars, these little sweet ones, they got my number as well. Oh. Oh, wow. That's, that's cedar in that. It's not... It's okay. It's like cedar, but it's like, it's like if you cut cedar with a saw, like a chainsaw or, or even a handsaw, like if you're building a closet or something, the dust, like the sawdust, like if you picked a handful of it up and put it in your face, that's what it smells like. It smells and tastes like, like cedar. I mean, the quality isn't great. Um, like I said, look at the end. This one is the, the, this is the end that you are supposed to light as far as I know. Right? So, so that's not a big deal. That's no problem. See, it's busted up, but it's okay. The, but then the other end, you know, the one you, I mean, eh, it's actually not that bad. I guess it was more this one. This is the, this is the first one, the silver, the plain one it was a little more busted up on the end. See that? That's the end you put in your mouth and that's not, that's no bueno as opposed to the box then. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope everybody's doing well, taking care of each other, take care of yourself. Um, if you like this kind of thing, let me know. I'll, I'll put cigars against each other. Um, you know, we could do another test with this brand, uh, different brands. I have two more inexpensive budget cigars. Um, of the same brand that I'm going to do the same kind of video with where I'm going to compare them. But if you like this kind of thing, let me know. But hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see these videos. I'm making them almost daily at this point. That's how passionate I am about this. I love cigars. I love bourbon. And I love making videos and hanging out with you guys. So I will uh, see you in the next one.